All right. Leopold, really? Now? Hmm. And then Kendall pets him, so you just get cat butt right in the video. Ooh. Okay, move along. <laughs> Remember that time somebody commented, you just threw your cat off the table. No. I try not to read the comments. Uh, it's usually bad for me to read the comments. It was so funny. Oh my god, Leopold. <laughs> we're trying to take a photo here. Ready? I have no idea what we're opening. I know, it's a surprise for you. Oh. You ready now? Ow, you shocked me. <laughs> That's what you get for kissing your cat. Hey everybody, welcome back to Box Pop and Beauty. I am Michael. I'm Kendall. Introduce yourself. Don't be rude. Well, anyway, that's Xander. Um, today we have a very exciting package. Uh, it's a present for myself and a present for Kendall. Um, this is probably months in the making, but I'll say that I had the idea for almost probably two years. Wow. Uh, Kendall loves things that are made for her, like as a expression of love or. I like like written letters and. That's not what this is. Things that people make. I think it's so nice. So anyway, so let's get into this surprise, Kendall. Show off what we got, and then I will give you guys the details about it. But um, there are things in here for me. However, I don't want to show mine first because if i show mine first you'll kind of have an idea of what you're getting and i want you to be completely surprised i mean you won't i don't think you'd have an idea of what the actual item is is it a pop kind of okay if something is a pop or isn't a pop you'll see what i mean are you ready you had a pop made are you ready yeah okay close your eyes i didn't just have a pop made these are the only ones that I'm aware of that exist at the time of this video. I'm gonna show the audience really quick. Okay, babe, you ready? Yep. Go for it. Wow, those are cool. So these are from Gabe Miller Customs. Um, Gabe is an extremely nice guy, fellow collector, and he makes custom Funko Pops. He makes the boxes, he makes the pops, he makes everything. So you have a custom Eileen Warnos. That's cool. And you have a custom Ed Gein and... Ah, oh, the nipple belt. Yeah, he's holding Kendall. So Ken, one of Kendall's favorite facts about Egin is the nipple belt. Wow. And so he's, and then look. That is so cool. So all this box art, everything is custom made. How the heck does he do it? Does he take like already made pops and? Yeah, I think he, you know, he he adjusts already made pops and just customizes them to fit. So you just had kind of like trucker look, hooker Eileen, dude. There you go. Somebody comment about how I chucked them. All right. So anyway, you had like Hooker, Trucker, Eileen, and then you had uh, Ed with his little knife for cutting people up. But yeah, and then the cool thing is the box numbers, number two and number seven, are their confirmed victim count. Oh, wow. This is really cool. I love it. So we've been working on that for a while. Thank you. And then I've had an idea for myself. Um, if you watch the channel, you know my favorite franchise is Saw, Jigsaw favorite. There's only two, well, technically there's one, but there's two versions of a Saw Funko, and it's Billy. That's it. It's regular Billy, and then it's Glow in the Dark Bloody Billy. I have both of those. I've been saying for, since, since collecting Funkos, I've been saying they're missing out on an opportunity. Amanda? No. There's a really cool Funko Pop idea that I had. And Gabe Miller Customs brought it to life. Are you ready to see it? Yep. So the first one is the John Kramer. Hmm. Cool. Funko. So you got John. Now, I know people have made a custom Funko like this before. I don't think that they've made it 
quite as well as Gabe did. But I do know that people have made a John Kramer Funko. Now, I don't know that they put his name as John Kramer. They probably put Jigsaw or something like that. But I do know that this Funko has existed. He has his little little arm knife. You guys can see it in there. But this was my idea the whole time. This is what I said Funko's missing out on. What does Funko sometimes do with Pops? They make a what kind of version? Chase. Chase version. So you got to have the Jigsaw Killer Chase. <laughs> That's cool. Look at that. That could not have been easy to do. How the no, heck? No, this was definitely a work of art. How I, the heck did he do that? And not only that, but look at, I don't know if you guys can see, I don't know if you can see the detail, oh. but he made the face look wet and rotting, just like in the movies, because it's literally a pig head. So he made it look wet and like, what is it, babe? Skin slip that starts to happen? Like the fat, oh. or the fat starts to kind of gloss? Skin slip is when your skin literally slips off in layers. Well, this is where like the fat starts to kind of gloss on the body, right? Like seeps yeah, that out. That happens just like with any other meat. Yeah. So Greasy. look at that. That's so cool. So you did great. You have the John Kramer with the the uh, jigsaw chase Funko, and uh, I have a spot already set up on my. Um, I didn't know if you saw I, when I put that. I put that little display underneath my uh, signed foot for those two. Hmm, I didn't see. Yeah, so I'm going to put these up with the signed foot. But I, uh, Gabe, Gabe just, first of all, nicest dude to work with. Um, what he, a skill. Yeah, every step of the way from um, design, from, uh, you know, the process. Uh, originally, this, the the head looked a little bit different, and then we started, like, talking back and forth with ideas like it, it kind of had more like a matted finish and i was like you know in the in the movies it, it looks wet because the fat's rotting it's a rotting piece of flesh that they're wearing and so he was like well i've never done it before but i might be able to like gloss it to make it look wet yeah it looks cool and then he also added some more like um some just some different textures to it to make it just look i mean this is a hundred percent custom piece i mean i know the head that he used for this i know which funko pop it was but it doesn't look anything like that it had tusks and everything i'm pretty sure um pumba yeah <laughs> i think it was pumba it was either he either used pumba or he used the pig from power rangers no because the pig from power rangers was the whole body i think he used pumba but yeah like he turned pumba into that um gabe absolutely an amazing person to work with um, go check him out. I will leave his Instagram down below, but it's Gabe Miller Customs. Uh, you can reach out to him there as far as if you have an idea, don't steal mine. <laughs> Even though they're really, really cool. You would mind if someone wanted to have one made? I have the first one and it's documented now forever on YouTube. So if you guys want to steal the idea, go for it. Obviously, you might not want to do it again if it was a lot of work. Uh, I, I mean, out of all of them, this was the most. This one was his like masterpiece. Was the the jigsaw chase, and it's just such a cool idea. I really enjoy when when Funko does the chases where it's completely different. You know what I mean? Where like uh, they did it with um, Fight Club. Fight Club's chase was a completely different Funko Pop, and I love that. I love it when it's just a different name. A different look and so that's what i wanted to accomplish with this set and yeah, then, sometimes you look at a chase and you're like i don't know what's yeah. different and sometimes it's just glow in the dark so when yeah. you're just looking at it you don't notice a difference um and then you have i to my knowledge i think you may have the first uh, serial killer Funko Pops. Honestly, it's such a great idea of like a road they could go down. To I don't know why they have. I mean, I don't know why they haven't other than just the the optics of of glorifying a killer. Yeah. But um, I don't know if our viewers out there remember. I got Kendall um, these really cool comic books, the an Ed Gein and a Eileen Warnos comic book from this comic book series that was released. Do you remember those? Yeah. Um, when we go to Rose City Comic Con, I'm going to take those and I'm going to have them. Um, encapsulated by uh i think cbcs is going to be at our comic con so i'm having encapsulate encapsulated and then i'm going to create some kind of display for kendall with the funko pops and the and the comics 
kind of some kind of like pop culture serial killer display. Cool, love them. Thank you. you surprised? Yeah, I am. Did not expect it. These pops you care about? The, are you mind getting more pops? This is it, though. Seriously, I don't want any more. What if I make you more customs made? No, I don't want to put them around. I don't know where to put them. <laughs> I don't want any more. But yeah, these are uh, incredible, incredible job. Um, Gabe Miller Customs again. Go check it out. Custom two two uh, two customs for Kendall, two customs for me, and I'm in talks with potentially making that. <laughs> Except you might need to change your haircut now. Yeah, I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> Memories of what used to be. Nothing stays good forever. <laughs> anyway, go check them out. Links will be down below. Thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this. A little bit different. Custom Funko Pops. Uh, Gabe Miller is next level. Go check them out. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you next time. Bye-bye.